yes uh, good morning all i am dr aditya bardwas assistant professor department of csc kit group of institution gajabad so friends in this lecture series we will discuss one important topic that is your overview of case 2 so if i give glimpse of uh, what uh, content we are going to discuss in this lecture series basically whenever you are going for software development from different phases development to comment analysis design coding testing and maintenance and if your team and if your it industry is willing for automation of every phases that means if they are willing for automation of every phases during the software development during the maintenance phase during testing phase then this will come under through case tool so case tool is a umbrella term which basically highlight different types of automation tool at various phases of software development life cycle model so uh, let us see these are the contents first of all we will discuss what is case tool then case and its scope followed by case tools types advantages of case tools along with its limitations and finally references so case uh, abbreviation stands for computer aided software engineering so just from abbreviation itself if you try to get glimpse of what is case tool so it is a basically software engineering through the computer automation tool so in short we can say you are performing software engineering through the computer automation tools it is the scientific application of a set of tools and methods to a software system which is meant to result in high quality defect free and maintainable software products so if any it industry they are using case tool that means if they are using automation tool that the product that will be delivered will be of high quality it will be defect free why we are saying defect free because if we see manual manufacturing of your software engineering process then there may be human bugs also but if you are using automation tools then the chances of software defect will be less and maintainable software products so at the maintenance phase also if you are using automation tools then you will be having highly updated software with recent version launch of respective component of your software so in other words it means development and maintenance of software project with the help of various automated software tools so this case tool is nothing but it is an umbrella term under which various kinds of automation tools we will discuss with respect to your software engineering process now let us uh, have discussion on case and its scope so case technology provides software process support by automating and providing information about the software being developed so popular activities which can be automated by using case tools are development of graphical models as part of the requirement specification for the software design so for the software specification and design phase we can use automated tool from graphical point of view understanding a design design using a data dictionary which holds information about the entities and relation in a design the generation of user interface so you can also go for automated generation of user interface through this case tools now what are the different types of case tools that we will discuss first one is your diagram tools so these tools are used to represent system component data and control flow among various software component and system structure in a graphical form like for example flowchart maker tool for creating state of the art flowchart so what about uh, uh, this one is basically if you are going for automation tools during the software development phase from the graphical point of view then there is a Uh, one category diagram tools so one popular flowchart making tool is flowchart maker tool in this category second one is process modeling tools so 
So process modeling is method to create software process model which is used to develop the software. Like we have discussed various types of software process model, waterfall model, spiral model, iterative model, RAID model. So if you are going for automation of these software process models and you can use process modeling tools. One of the popular process modeling tools that is widely utilized in IT industries EPF Composer. Afterwards, third one is your project management tools. So these tools are used for project planning, cost and effort estimation, project scheduling and resource planning. So if you are going for management of your project in terms of cost, estimation, effort estimation, scheduling of your project and resources planning of your project then you can utilize this category of tools so in this project management tools like creative pro office base Camp, they are one of the popular tools utilizing this project management category fourth one is documentation tools so these tools are used to generate document for technical users and end users so in uh, in documentation tools the variety, variety of Categories that I use are Doxygen, DR Explain, Adobe RoboHelp, or Documentation, these are utilized. Afterwards, if we see from Analysis Tools, so these tools help to gather requirements, automatically check for any inconsistency in accuracy in the diagram, data data density. So for, uh, for this Analysis Tools, the widely utilized are Accept 360, case complete for requirement analysis so from requirement analysis point of view these tools are widely utilized now what is the requirement of this requirement analysis point of view basically if you are going for analysis of requirement that you will collect from the client then you can go for gap identification of the requirement that can be done through these set of categories tools Sixth one is your design tools. So these tools provide detailing of each module and interaction among modules. So for this like animated software they are widely utilized. Now what are the advantages of case tools? First major advantage of case tool is it produces high quality and consistent document. Why we are saying this one? Because if you are using automated tool for a variety of phases definitely your software that will be your will be of high quality and with consistent document because if you are performing manual task then there may be chances of human error correction it improves productivity and accuracy reduction of time and effort is there reduce lifetime maintenance reduce cost of software so these are the significant advantages of case tools now as we all know, if something is having their benefits, then definitely there will be some limitations also. So what are the some limitations of case tools? Definitely if some IT industry, they are following this case tools methodology. So they need to train their staff on the use of that particular tools. Suppose in 2021, you are using manual task of software development process and afterwards your IT industry wants to use case tool for automation point of view and definitely these staff of your IT industry has to be trained on the working of this automated tool. So there is a need of structure development methods. As per IBM 14 with valid structure process, the use of tools enhance the process improve performance. However, 14 with valid with less formalized process, the tools created problems. So it will become somewhat problem oriented for learner also. If they are adaptable for uh, new technologies, new set of tools, then they will be learning set of skills easily. Otherwise, there will be some trouble being will be there in front of them. So large project tend to require more coordination and more project oriented. So these are the references for this lecture series. First one is Software Engineering by K. K. Rival and Yogeshik. Third edition, New Age International Limited Publisher. Second one is Software Engineering by Pressman Tata Magrathu. So thank you all.